Greetings to you all, gentlemen of the press. Greetings to you all, my wonderfully made brethren, brothers and sisters. And I greet you all, the Africans, the Europe and the world at large. Here is another episode of those who are making the caricature of the movement of the Biafrans. Those who have sworn that they will never be alive to see Biafra come to manifestation. And uh, we have already uh, organized um, a prayer group to say amen to all their prayer points. Because he who wants to die, we will help that person to do what? To die. If you say you will not be alive to see Biafra manifest, then you will hear it from your grave. And that is the simple truth. Um, by uh, this guy uh, by name Peter Anosike, who they always think uh, or they call uh, he said a political analyst or whatever they call him, is one of those people that we are going to banish from Biafra land. In fact, he is another Okoko who have incurred the wrath of the gods of Biafra land because he is among those who keep on making caricature of the movement of Biafrans, of the plight of Biafrans. They are the ones who never condemn the killings of Biafrans or the marginalization of the Biafrans. The only thing they focus on is that when the zoo give them small peanuts, they will fool all the whole uh, radio houses and TV stations and making caricature of their own people. I mean, uh, laughing at the expense of the poor and suffering Biafran brothers and sisters. Laughing at the expense of uh, marginalized Biafran brothers and sisters. Laughing at the expense of... Uh, um, uh, the killings going on in Biafra land, it is not a new thing. Uh, it have joined the, the, the league of those people who, who keep on maligning the Biafrans. Anywhere you see Peter Nossi, you can just let him know that Biafra will surely come. And he will be one of those, I mean, earlier banished from Biafra land. Hear the interview or uh, rather the program he had uh, in a VOP, Voice of the People Radio. Um, according to, because uh, the breaking news we are hearing is that uh, Trump, uh, Trump's uh, attorney general nominee received Biafra Charter. You understand me? The Trump's attorney general of the United States of America, the newly elected president, his nominee have already received a charter from the Biafran lobbyist. That is where they ask this man something. And instead of this man to answer the question they ask him, he begins to talk another different rubbish. He begins to rubbish the movement of the Biafrans. He begins to rubbish the rough sufferings of the Biafrans. He begins to rubbish the efforts of all the whole Biafran heroes, both the ones dead and the ones that is alive. These are the kind of people you tell me that when Biafra comes, they will, they will even one million miles Anywhere within Biafran territory, they are gone. In fact, they are goners. Let us listen to the them. And uh, let me know what you can take at the comment section. Don't forget, today is Friday. TGIF. Thank God. Now Friday we day. And uh, according to Simon Ekpada posted it, look at what he said. He said, and I quote, He said, I wonder why this platform continue to bring an imbecile as an analyst. Of all eligible analysts from the eastern region, they continue to feature this imbecile to make caricature of our people. That's exactly the point. Of all the whole good analysts we have, we have people who always feature in Afia TV. When you ask them questions, even they are speaking, you will know that, man, these, these people, they have something in them. There's a lot of people in that Biafra land that are going to banish, not because they do anything, but because they are imbeciles. They don't, they don't represent anything. They don't represent our people well. And they claim to be analysts. They claim to be political analysts or whatever they call themselves. But anyway, so let, us, let us listen to him. And um, we will come back to dissect the comment section because that is where the main message is. Like, share, comment, and make sure you subscribe for more interesting videos pursue this agenda so 
In other words, he quickly went to his ex Handu and actually put it out there and said the efforts for the secession of Nigeria's southeast region and that with the relationship with this uh, Attorney General, there is also optimism. He expressed optimism that Gatta's appointment could advance this cause. Like I asked you earlier, I said, in as much as the cause is ongoing and this same United States or this same European Union or this same Britain who know about this man's case all this while and have kept mum and kept quiet despite several court orders, despite several court documentation asking for his release. How do we trust that this process will yield something positive? A couple of people have complained that uh, he is too quick to make announcements and sometimes when some things don't come to fusion, it almost feels like it's an empty balloon that is going on out there or maybe he's misleading anyone or misleading people. Do you think it's too early to announce this considering the fact that there's a lot on Trump's table? Do you think that the other time when he wrote, apparently he said the Nigerian government actually wrote against the uh, referendum situation for the Biafran Republic in exile. So my question is, do you think this is too early? Do you think that there is anything that will come out of this? And how long, though, will this agenda take place uh, that will give the fusion of what is expected? I say I don't believe Simon, uh, but the, the one I'm interested in is in what is being done here in this country. So if there is nothing, tr if there is no truth about it, why come and put it out on his ex and all if there is no sincerity or purpose to it? What is the essence of doing that then? Excuse me, I'm, I was here in this country in 2007 when uh, when the, the, the Igbo women wrote to Queen Elizabeth. Okay. That was 2007 and then the leader of uh, Mossab, that's uh, um, Ralph Owazrike, okay. the Igbo women wrote a protest letter to Queen Elizabeth. Okay. When he get to Buckingham Palace, it was received and uh, and uh, and was was signed, uh, received and signed. Okay. Sign, um, uh, Ralph Owasrike took that uh, took that thing and was telling people that Queen Elizabeth has signed for Biafra. Hmm. Understand me? That Queen Elizabeth has signed for Biafra. But this is a common thing that when a, a letter gets to, to to a government office, there should be um, a, a sign of a receipt. We have seen it. All right. So what these guys are doing is hmm. is, is is deception. So I don't believe him, and uh, Susie Wells mm -hmm. is going to be the chief of staff to the president of the United States. Yes. Yes. Okay. Guess is going to be the attorney general of of the United States. Okay. They have a lot on their table, table. so I don't believe what Simon Eba is is doing. Simon Eba is deceiving gullible people. So my concern is what is happening in Nigeria. I have that trust, I have that confidence mm -hmm. that uh, Namde Khan will be out. But the question is when. Okay. Well, apparently we've we've heard from uh, the Honourable Minister that, that talks are ongoing and in the soonest possible time, definitely there'll be good news. But the reason why I'm asking is this, Mr. Anosike, we just recently heard of the information concerning the fact that the Central Intelligence Agency reportedly confirmed that Nigeria sitting President Bola Ahmed Tinubu is an active asset by the U.S. intelligence. And of course, it sparked international espionage scandal across the globe. There were polarization of thoughts and leanings to towards this. So if he is an asset, how would this be possible with this information reeled out now? Will that particular, um, will I say designation or deal between the Nigerian president and the CIA be truncated now that Trump is already coming on board? If he continues to become an asset, will this particular agenda be fulfilled despite the fact that he has received the, you know, Biafran charter? Esther, do they know what being an active asset means do they know that you you and i can be active asset to to cia or to fbi okay active asset simply means somebody who gives information all right to to the security agency okay. it could be voluntary or it could be paid for okay 
understand me? So there's no big deal about it. There's no big deal with the fact that our president is supposedly an active asset. Abiona was, Abiona was, Saddam Hussein was, understand me? And there are still many people in this country who are still at, at so these people just uh, read the head knife, they, they don't even understand what they are talking about. So that is it on another here. This one is another imbecile that will be going to be banished from the surface of the Biafran territory. Because these are the people who make this struggle a living hell. These are the people who are supposed to use their platform all the time with when they were asked about the movement of the Biafrans. At least they can even if they cannot uh, do anything, if they cannot support, they let them just shut their mouth up and they allow people who have what it takes to lead the struggle. But anyway, Sha, let us go to the comment section where the real news is. And Michael Ragos said they won't be surprised if he is on their payroll to yap nonsense, okay? And the possible in here, in here, Jesse, he said uh, the imbecile is hungry, hungry one. Please, uh, they should give him food before he fell in that studio. And according to Simon Elkman, the legendary said a very old, hopeless imbecile like this idiotic moron here called peter anosike who has absolutely nothing to offer we have the gods to uh, the gods to come out and uh, to come out of media and be display this level of his ignorant and foolishness now i know for real that the foolish also grow old what a shame chai chai or the painful tbk biafra said that the man is old and and uh, he is a uh, have him a uh, problem with the good reasoning with facts he still uh, think uh, our Biafra liberation is like uh, the one of Ralph Wazrike or 1967 not knowing we are in 2024 with a different bulls in charge operating in a totally different way never seen before him mind go be hmm. salvation salvation said I am not surprised of course these are the people either they are looking for appointment in one way or the other but that is by the way. Um Agubu uh, said this man believing or not, um believing what Biafra government is doing has no effect. Some people don't believe God exists. Can their disbelief stop God from existing? That is the uh, the question. The answer is no. What will be will be. There is nothing you can do to stop it. Simon Ekpa, the legend is honestly that hopeless idiotic moron called Peter is worse than imbecility. I will try. It is painful. Hmm. Peter no see, you don't hear them all. Alois is said uh, they know what they are doing. They know the idiot has nothing in his head, but he serves their agenda. Ndi Ocho. Uh, Mpae Nyi said that this man is the biggest fool at this age. That suit consulted by my grandma is making him feel hot and confused. He should uh, he should uh, better return every money he has taken from the Nigerian terrorist government to stop Biafra liberation. Oko Diova. Leo Wanko said that the so-called uh, analyst is high on Brukutu. Hey, and, and he is a supreme nonsense. Such people are brought in the market square and the last him 24 koboko na otele ew chai or the kwapen flow as the match uchendu said uh, most people are still sleeping with the ideology of the past struggle keep sleeping in the media room and taking and talking rubbish stella uzoka says son the only punishment we must give to nigeria is the restoration of biafra nation they will all shut up their smelly mouths anytime soon. As Ubike said, who say the men know the Biafra to the world and Biafra to all the planet of the earth? So, my good people, I here will take my break. I beg, like, share, comment, and make sure you keep subscribing for more interesting videos coming your way. My name is Sidiman Amandiano Eze.